Hi everybody, it's Christy back with another video. Happy March! It is almost springtime and so I thought it would be fun to come on here today and just do something really easy, really light, really fun, something you could probably do with your kids if you wanted to because that's how I like to do art. I like to do art with my daughter. I just like to do art because I like it to be fun. So the other day I drew, just sketched out a bunch of things that kind of represent March. You can see them here. And today we're just going to do a line and wash. So I'm going to take some time and line these guys and then after they're lined and they're dry, I'm going to go through and I'm going to paint them with my Rosa Gallery watercolors, which are an absolute favorite of mine and um, a definitely a creature comfort. So, yep, I'm going to line them with two things today. For all of the outline work and the detail work, I'm going to use my Tombow uh, Soft Brush Tip Food No Ske Pen uh, in black, but with the soft tip. I think I said that. <laughs> and then I'm going to use a Pigma Micron 01 that I have, which is just a really thin micron. Here you can see the super thin nib. There it is. Um, and so that'll just be for any details or like little fine points if I want to add them. I'm thinking maybe around the lion's fur and things like that. So that's my plan for today. I hope that this isn't too much of just a, um, you know, not a lot of talking kind of video, but I just thought it would be a fun activity to uh, line and paint something for a good time. So uh, I will see you on the flip side. Enjoy. Okay, so future Chrissy voiceover here, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about how this process ended up going and what I discovered. I try to be as free as possible when I do this and just um, take the sketch that I've laid down and, you know, keep to it, be simple. I did on the egg think, you know what, I'm going to jazz it up and I'm going to actually decorate the egg with line work, and <laughs> you'll see that I, like, draw circles that I absolutely hate. So what I ended up doing was I just pivoted. It's fine. Um, I wasn't going to scrap the whole thing. I didn't want to do that. I had taken time to do this. So I just filled the whole middle of the egg in with black. And then I used first later, I end up using, um, I try like a, a Karen uh, pigment brush marker to go over it. And that does not end up working. So I ended up with metallic watercolor and a little bit of gouache mixed in and it ended up looking really nice. So I um, I just went with it. I didn't get frustrated and I turned it into something beautiful. I probably, for that mistake, would not have pulled out my metallic watercolors for this process and they really added a nice little bit of sparkle to the end result of my doodles. So I really enjoyed um, how that ended up turning out. I also had a little bit of a line work problem with the circle in the lamb's eye and I did use some Dr. Paige Martin's bleed proof white gouache to fix that because Dr. Paige Martin's bleed proof white gouache is the white out of the art supply world. Um, I am working here on a piece of Legion cold press watercolor paper. Ideally, if I was going to think about this better, I might use hot press watercolor paper in the future to do a line and wash situation because the cold press paper will rip up your markers after a while. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind if you're thinking about doing this. I did have a lot of fun lining the bottom three in particular, the lion, the lamb, and the tulips were a really good challenge, but also something that was detailed but not too detailed. Um, if you are outside of the U.S., do you use the phrase in like a lion, out like a lamb? Do you even know what that is? So in March in the United States, um, at least in my climate, it's probably different in other places. This might be very regional to like the Midwest, but uh, because we are going to have bad weather ending and spring beginning, we use the phrase in like a lion, out like a lamb to describe how March kind of starts and ends. And so that's why I drew a lion and a lamb on this picture. Um, it doesn't always work that way anymore. Sometimes it seems like it is all lion, meaning bad weather um, in March, but uh, you don't know. And I have the pie symbol on here because I am a math nerd and it's pie day. 
March 14th is Pi Day, which is a cool, fun thing to celebrate if you are a math person. So just, I had to add, you know, had to add my little nerdy flair to everything here. I ended up using my Rosa watercolors for most of this, and then I did also add, like I said, Dr. Paige Martin's Bleed Proof White and my Yuli Color Shifting Pearlescent watercolors. I am really loving those right now. I've been just picking them up and using them in a lot, lot of projects, and so I am very, very thankful to have them, and there'll be a full review of those coming on the channel very, very shortly. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and throw some music on and let you enjoy the process of watching me paint. And hopefully this will inspire you to pull out your sketchbook and paint along with me. We'll see you at the end of the video.
So here are my finished March doodles. I love how they turned out. I think they were so fun. This was such a relaxing, awesome evening of painting. And look how pretty the metallic just turned out. Can you guys see that shimmer? Just so cute. So these Yuli watercolors, they just, they just keep paying off. I just keep reaching for them. So that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, these are my March doodles. What would you have included in your March doodles that I did not include on this page? Please leave me a comment and tell me. Um, and that's going to be it for me today. Hopefully you had a good time here today and this inspired you to make some artsy bits yourself. We will see you guys for the next video. Bye for now.